Coach, uh, thankfully it's an aggregate score thing here. Uh, what's the game plan going into next week? I mean, we just got to go and do everything that we didn't do today. You know, we shot ourselves in the foot as many ways as we could have, and it cost us. You know, when you're in these type of games, a uh, 14-point loss turns into a 30-plus point loss. And you, can't fault, you can't be fault them or be mad at them because that's just the way it is. But if they can put it up there, we're going to have to put it up there next week. Last night we saw Baltimore go down by 35 to start the next game. That's 35 nothing. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we're not in that exact same hole. Is there anything that we need to do to make – well? 36, we got the same hole. I mean, it's just about us going and, and either putting our foot down and moving forward or we're going to get beat up on. And we ain't got the guys that's going to continue to get beat up on. And the staff won't continue to get beat up on. I mean, it is what it is. Things happen, but you got to fight. And we dropped our head a couple of times, and it cost us. What, what was the one thing that could have turned this game a different tide that didn't? It was a lot. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you know, not giving them easy turnovers, you know, not getting a lot of penalties. You know, when you go out there and you have multiple penalties in the first half, it throws you all out of rhythm. So, you know, we're, we come in, in the first half down by 13, acting like we're down by 30. So that's what happens. Coach, when y'all had a lot of – Fall starts and a lot of mm -hmm. had a lot of y'all had a lot of fall starts and onside kicks. What? Why would y'all do have a lot of onside kicks when the game when the score was the way it was? Yeah, when you're going into this the, these type of rules and it's about the points, you try to gain back as many possessions as you can to try to add to decrease the deficit. Normally you wouldn't. Normally you wouldn't go that many. All sides, but the way it's set up is just what you have to do, especially when you're down. Um, as far as the offsides penalties, that's just mental errors that we have to clean up and we have to get better at. We can't come out and jump off sides when we right there before the half trying to add points. Um, you know, and it cost you. And number seven on their team hurt y'all a lot this game. For the second half, y'all y'all held him better, but y'all that's when y'all had more interceptions and fumbles. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, Reynolds is a pretty talented guy. He's been playing Jack all year, so he's been pretty resting, and they put him in there this game. And, you know, when you go against a guy you hadn't seen all year, uh, it kind of gets you. But he's a good player, and he's going to make plays when he's on the offensive side. You know, we know what we got next week, and we just got to come out and have a game plan to stop him from having as many explosive plays as he did. Tonight we saw – an offense from Philadelphia that we haven't seen all year. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we, we've won both games against Philadelphia this year, and this year we we thought that we had a good team coming into this situation. What has to happen next week to try and get some ground in this situation? I mean, it, we have to have a mistake-free game. I mean, you're trying to – talking about adding, you know, 36 points – above what they had, you know, we have to play a mistake-free game, and for the most part, that's what they played. You know, they made the plays they needed to, you know, outside of the one interception, but they came back and got another interception. So you can't go back and forth. Um, we got to know who we are. We can't go into a game wishing something's going to happen. We got to make it happen. And so we'll take the next few days to prepare for that, and we'll see how all these guys respond. But I think they'll come out and fight for it. Questions for Coach? Coach, the offense has looked a little uh, inconsistent lately. Our bells been missing some throws, and as we mentioned, the false start penalties. Uh, what is the offense going to focus on going into next week? Uh, we're going to focus on scoring points. I mean, that's the only thing you can focus on right now. And if you eliminate those plays like that, then you get it, you know. Um, you know, we can sit around and we can blame everybody in the world for whatever, but it's on us. You know, it's pretty embarrassing to end it like that, but – Things happen, and we got to continue to fight. We got one more chance to go at it next week. You know, we got an uphill battle, but either you're going to climb or you're going to sit at the bottom, and I'm definitely not going to sit at the bottom of the hill. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate you.